Imagine the audacity of holding a future ruler of Rome for ransom. Today, we're uncovering a tale so bold and improbable, it seems ripped from the pages of fiction. The year is 75 BC, and Julius Caesar, a name that echoes through history, is about to become the most famous captive of the high seas. Brace yourselves as we embark on a journey filled with daring pirates, a defiant Caesar, and a twist that no one saw coming. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. At 25, Caesar decided to venture to Rhodes, a hub of learning and philosophy. This was no ordinary journey. It was a step towards cultivating the intellect and rhetoric he would one day use to sway the Roman Senate and command legions. But as he set sail across the Mediterranean, fate had other plans. The sea, a vital artery of Roman commerce and communication, was also a nest for pirates, the scourge of the Mediterranean. It was here, in these unpredictable waters, that our story takes an extraordinary turn. As Caesar's ship navigated the perilous seas, little did he know that he was sailing straight into the clutches of danger. The Cilician pirates, feared for their ruthlessness and greed, were on the prowl, and Caesar's path was about to intersect with theirs. This encounter would not only test his mettle, but also set the stage for a legendary tale of audacity, wit, and an unbreakable spirit. The Mediterranean, a vast expanse of blue, was both a highway of commerce and a battleground for control. As Caesar's ship sailed these waters, the tranquility of the sea was deceptively calm. Suddenly, the horizon darkened with the ominous sails of the Cilician pirates. Known for their swiftness and brutality, these pirates were the terror of the Mediterranean. Before Caesar's crew could mount a defense, the pirates launched their attack. The Romans, outnumbered and outmaneuvered, were quickly overpowered. In the midst of this chaos, Caesar was captured. While his crew members were gripped with fear, Caesar himself displayed an unnerving calmness. Perhaps it was his inner conviction or sheer audacity, but even in captivity, he exuded an air of authority. The pirates, sensing his nobility, decided to hold him for a hefty ransom, unaware of whom they had ensnared. As Caesar was taken to the pirate's stronghold, he found himself in a world far removed from the polished streets of Rome. Here, amidst these ruthless outlaws of the sea, Caesar's journey took an unexpected turn. But little did the pirates know, they had not just captured a Roman nobleman, they had captured a man who would redefine the course of history. Make sure to subscribe and press the like button to join our community of history enthusiasts. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Your support keeps history alive on our channel. Amidst the pirate stronghold, a negotiation began that would turn into one of history's most fascinating anecdotes. The pirates, aware of their valuable catch, demanded 20 talents of silver for Caesar's release. But in a twist that left even his captors stunned, Caesar laughed at the sum, declaring it far too low for someone of his stature. In an astonishing display of self-worth and psychological prowess, Caesar insisted they demand 50 talents instead. This was not just a statement of his value, it was a psychological game, a way to assert dominance even in captivity. The pirates, amused and perhaps a bit bewildered, agreed to the higher sum, unknowingly playing into Caesar's hands. While the ransom was being gathered, Caesar's time among the pirates revealed his extraordinary character. He did not behave like a typical captive. Instead, he lived as one of them, joining in their games, exercising, and even engaging in intellectual discussions. But behind his composed facade, Caesar was not just a participant in these pirate games. He was a keen observer, learning about his captors, biding his time, all the while planning his next move. This period of captivity was not a setback for Caesar. It was a strategic pause, a time to plan, and to wait for the right moment to turn the tables. As the days turned to weeks in the pirate camp, Caesar's ransom was being amassed. Unbeknownst to his captors, Caesar's thoughts were not on his release, but on the promise he had made, a promise of retribution. It was a vow that the pirates took lightly, laughing off the idea that this Roman noble could ever harm them. The day of Caesar's release arrived. As the hefty ransom of 50 talents of silver was handed over, the pirates released their prized captive, perhaps proud of their lucrative catch. Little did they know, they were releasing a force that would come back to haunt them. Caesar, now free, 
wasted no time. He was a man with a mission, a man who intended to keep his word. With freedom regained, Caesar's first order of business was not to return home, but to seek justice. He journeyed to Miletus, rallying a small fleet. In a testament to his leadership and influence, he swiftly gathered a force ready to aid in his quest for vengeance. Caesar was not just seeking retribution, he was asserting his authority, making a statement about the consequences of underestimating him. As Caesar's fleet set sail in pursuit of the pirates, the tables had turned. The hunter had become the hunted. With strategic precision and unyielding resolve, Caesar closed in on the pirate stronghold. The pirates, who had seen him as nothing more than a high-value prisoner, were about to face the full wrath of Julius Caesar. As the dawn broke over the Mediterranean, Caesar, now the commander of a formidable fleet, was about to turn the tide of his fate. The man who had once been a captive was now the orchestrator of a calculated assault. The pirates, who had once jeered at his promise of vengeance, were oblivious to the storm that was about to descend upon them. The confrontation was swift and decisive. Caesar's forces, fueled by his unyielding will, launched a surprise attack on the pirate stronghold. The battle was a showcase of Caesar's military brilliance, a combination of strategy, courage, and relentless aggression. The pirates, caught off guard, were overwhelmed by the ferocity and precision of Caesar's assault. In a twist of poetic justice, the pirates found themselves at the mercy of the very man they had held captive. The tables had turned completely. As they were rounded up, the realization dawned upon them. The young Roman noble they had underestimated was a force far beyond their reckoning. True to his word, Caesar ordered the crucifixion of the pirates, a punishment befitting their crimes. It was a grim but resolute action, a demonstration of Caesar's iron will and a warning to all who dared cross him. This act of retribution was not just about vengeance. It was a declaration of his emerging power and the lengths he would go to uphold his word. This episode not only exemplifies Caesar's cunning and resolve, but also foreshadows the legendary leader he was to become. Thank you for watching. For more fascinating tales from history, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next journey through the past.